everybody so I am here with a get ready with me today and yes I got a little Eli with me um, but I wanted to ah. film this intro yes oh yes you're here too um, I wanted to film this intro because I wanted to share with you guys this is kind of the makeup look that I kind of wore yeah <laughs> always says mama is it like as if it's a question it's really funny but anyways, I wanted to film this makeup look because I wore it pretty much every single day that I was working. And when you are a mother and getting up in the morning with this guy and trying to get out the door, but when you're trying to get out, up and out the door, like I wanted something that I knew looked good. I looked fresh and slightly awake, um, but put something on my face to feel put together. And in the workplace, I don't want to be wearing this like really dramatic cat eye or like crazy bold lips. I want something very natural and I wanted good products that worked and held up throughout the day and looked nice on my skin. Um, I wanted to invest in things that um, I really knew looked good on my skin. So these are the products that I know are amazing. I love the way it comes out every single time I do my makeup. And like I said, it's very fresh. It's very natural. Emma. So yeah, Emma. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you guys in my next video. See you, bye. Bye. All right, so I'm starting off with the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage, I believe it's called. Um, but I'm just using this to prime my skin. I've talked about it before. I really like it. Um, it's a great primer for underneath makeup and makes your makeup last really long. Then I'm actually not going in with this. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I'm actually using the MAC Studio Water Weight Foundation. Um, I normally would go in with the Bare Minerals one, but I'm going ahead and using the MAC one today because I'm out of the Bare Minerals and the color just doesn't match me anymore. Um, but I really do love the MAC one as well. Honestly, on days that I'm working, I want something that's super lightweight. I don't want something that's super heavy and cakey feeling. So any Anything that's really lightweight um, and just kind of evens out my skin tone in a very natural way I really like to use on the everyday so I'm using this and just buffing it into my skin as you can see it just kind of evens everything out it's not super full coverage you can kind of see my skin peeking through but I really like it now for concealer I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin this stuff is heavy-duty full coverage I honestly love this stuff because it is full coverage it gives me that really nice nice brightening effect underneath my eyes and I'm actually going to put some on my eyelids as well to kind of just cover up all the redness. I'm not going to be using a ton of eyeshadow so I want it to be kind of really flawless up there and just cover up any redness and veins that I have. After that, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is like heaven underneath my eyes. I love this stuff. So I'm just setting my under eye concealer with this, and I love the way it brightens and just really locks in my concealer into place all day long. It does not budge. Like at the end of the day, this combo, the Urban Decay stuff and this is just like unbeatable. I'm also gonna tap some on my eyelids to just kind of set that concealer on my eyes. Then I'm going in with the Benefit Gimme Brow. I love this stuff for a quick kind of brow. I don't like using the Brow Wiz on days when I don't have time. And usually in the morning, I don't have much time to be precise. Um, I'm usually like having Eli on the side, like just kind of hanging out with some toys while I'm doing my makeup and getting ready. So I am just filling in my brows with that. Then I'm going in with MAC Kid. I love this eyeshadow. It's a little bit softer and not as warm as soft brown. So I really like this for in my crease. And I'm actually going to blend it upward towards um, my brow bone because I want my eyes to look very big and awake. I'm not gonna go all the way up, but I'm gonna go up pretty high just so I can really make my eyes look a lot bigger. And as you can see, it's just a very soft transition color. 
Then I'm going in with Max Grain. I love this eyeshadow. If you need an eyeshadow that makes you look very awake and just a very natural eyeshadow, this is the perfect one. It's kind of got a pearlescent um, pinkiness to it, so it just really awakens the eyelid, and I just love it. So I'm putting that all over my eyelid and underneath my brow bone. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of MAC cork and kind of smudge that underneath my eye just to give a little definition down there. I also sometimes like to put that um, shade in my crease as well just for a little added definition, but today it's just going underneath the eyes. Then I'm going in with the Urban Decay, um, I think this is the 24-7 liner in Zero. It's the black one, I don't know. Um, and actually what I'm doing is just going underneath my waterline there and just tight lining. I'm not going to go um, above my lash line today. I'm just going to go in that um, waterline for extra definition there. Then I'm just going to go ahead and use the Tarte Eyelash Curler to curl my lashes. For mascara, I'm going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, let's have a little chat about this mascara. I do love it. The volume's amazing. It makes your lashes look very big and voluminous um, in a very natural, fluffy way. But um, for me, it transfers. So I am going to use this on my top lashes and my lower lashes, but normally I wouldn't do that every day. I really loved when I was working, I loved the Dior Iconic Overcurl Mascara. That stuff is seriously the bomb. I got compliments all the time at work on my uh, mascara, and I love and rave about that one. For bronzer, I'm going in with the Hourglass Bronzer. This is the Ambient Bronzer in, I think it's the light shade. And I'm just dusting that all over my face. I just want to warm up my skin. I don't want any, any heavy contouring or highlighting. I just want my face to just look very, very natural. And I just needed a little bit of color all over. So I'm just kind of buffing that all over my skin. And then I'm going in with the Benefit Rockateur blush. I love this for a very, very natural look um, because this is such a natural look and both the bronzer and this blush have a sheen. I'm not actually going to go in with a highlight. I just like the natural glow that these two products give together. Then for lips, I'm just going to keep it very simple and go in with a lip gloss. This is by Buxom and it's in the shade White Russian. It's just a very natural nudie pink color and I really do love these Buxom glosses. They last a really long time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!